All right, so a little bit of clarification as to why I'm outside right now. My brother and his band are rehearsing in the room right next to where I usually film my videos. So that's why I'm out here. But I really wanted to get this review out today, so let's talk about Hereditary. Hereditary is a new horror film from the studio A24. It stars Tony Collette, and it's also directed by Ari Aster, and this is his feature film debut. And in this film, once Tony Collette's character's mother passes away, her family begins to unravel cryptic and increasingly terrifying secrets about their ancestry. The more they discover, the more they find themselves trying to outrun the sinister fate they seem to have inherited. And as far as the story goes, that's all I'm going to tell you. I literally went into this movie not knowing a thing about it, other than Tony Collette was in it, and it was produced by A24. And I think it made for a way better experience, because it was really cool walking into this movie not knowing anything about it. Naturally, I was really excited for this movie, considering that A24 was making a new horror film, because they're pretty much my favorite film studio out there right now. And I was also just non-stop hearing so many amazing things about this movie coming out of the film festivals that it was playing in. So it sounded pretty promising. And this movie was worth the wait. I have not stopped thinking about this movie after I've seen it and it really did leave an impact on me. Hereditary left me speechless. I pretty much loved everything about this movie. One of my favorite things about this movie is that at its core, it focuses on something that is truly terrifying, and that is the grief and the pain of losing a loved one. What I think a lot of modern day horror movies forget is how to make something compelling out of something truly terrifying. We see a lot of horror movies nowadays that just focus on jump scares or just a lot of creepy imagery and not a lot of compelling subject matter underneath. That is not the case with Hereditary. We get to see the world through this woman's point of view, someone who has experienced unimaginable losses, and Toni Collette sells this character really well. This is honestly by far the best performance I've seen in all of 2018. Her character faces so many challenges emotionally throughout this movie, and she's just so broken psychologically, and the way she sells that is unbelievable. Throughout a lot of the movie, she's really subdued, and you can feel how broken she is just through these quiet moments, but then there's some moments where she just explodes because she can't take it anymore, all the stress that's building up inside of her. She has so much range, and she made me feel like I was watching a real woman who was really impacted by these events. Also, there's two kids in this movie that I thought gave terrific performances. I don't remember their names, but they just felt so real, and they made this entire experience riveting to watch. Also, another thing I love about this movie is the way it's directed, because it is masterfully done. Ari Aster feels like he's made a film from someone who has a ton of experience making horror movies, but this is his first film. He also utilizes his shot structure really well because there's some scenes in this movie where things will be hiding in the corner and it'll be there for like a whole minute, but you never notice it because he's so good at distracting your focus to another thing. And it's really terrifying. The way this movie was directed kind of reminds me of some of my favorite horror movies like The Shining. In the end, guys, Hereditary blew me away. Tony Collette gives an award-worthy performance, as does the two main kids. It's a beautifully directed horror movie. Ari Aster clearly knows how to utilize shot structure and sound design and editing to make a truly terrifying experience. It is kind of a slow movie, but it builds marvelously, and it has a lot of twists and surprises that I could have never seen coming. I thought this movie really captured the grief and sorrow of losing a loved one, and it used that subject matter to give us a really scary movie. This is a movie that clearly is made by someone who has a passion for his craft, and I cannot wait to see what Ari Aster does next. I loved Hereditary. I think it's one of the best horror movies of this decade, and I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I don't really have any flaws with it, but you know, you gotta save the 10 out of 10s for the ones that really just hit you. That being said, I do think this is one of the best horror movies I've seen in a long time, and you should definitely check it out. So guys, have you seen Hereditary? What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, I will be reviewing Incredibles 2 probably on Thursday, so you can look forward to that video. Also, be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.